Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. I hope you're having a great day. Stay positive, stay focused. Let's get to it. What is the hot topic that's going on on YouTube or Instagram? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Don't forget the cash app is Let's Talk About It Media. Thank you for all your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. If you don't want to leave a comment, that's fine. Leave a thumbs up, a heart, a flower, a rose. Tell us where you're chiming in from. Any and everything helps with the algorithm. So let's get to it. It's very clear that Kim loves drama. Kim loves conflict. Kim loves to be in the media. And they say excels. Well, they also say drama sells because this is what reality shows do. Kim doesn't want Courtney to be happy. Kim doesn't want Chloe to be happy. Kim doesn't want Kanye to be happy. If you are happy in an inner relationship and she's not, she's going to do everything she can to make sure your relationship has drama and conflict and she's going to create it to bring the attention on her. It's sad. Courtney needs to walk away and leave her alone, period. If the show did not have Kanye being talked about, Courtney being talked about, Scott sitting down to listening to Kim and Chloe talk, that what would they have? Let's listen in on this girl. You're a different person. You hate us. We all talk about You're like adding it into a fight to like have a side. I think like you think things, so you're getting riled up. I think things, so I'm getting riled up. You're just a witch. She needs to leave her alone. She needs to leave her sister alone. Until Kim finds a man, she's going to try and drag Courtney for everything she can and what she can do. It's, it's, it's really a toxic television show. And Hulu, Hulu should be ashamed of themselves. Talking about Kanye, talking about uh, Black China, talking about Lamar, talking about any and everybody they can to drag on their show. Many of these people really need to take a step back of who you're dealing with. Let's listen to the whole se series. I think people are going to be surprised to see the two of you together. Uh, We're like, uh, cricket. Okay. I think people are going to be surprised to see the two of you and see, the biggest thing is Kim knows that Courtney is, they said that the show would be nothing without Courtney from the beginning. They've said that. So what is she going to do? She's not going to be like, oh, sissy, I'm so happy for you and your wedding and your marriage. No, she wants to drag, cre create conflict and drama. I feel for Courtney. I would leave her alone. Let's listen. Have a season two. We were never supposed to have a season two. And then when we started getting more seasons, we all had to sit down and have family meetings and say, okay, wait, we have this opportunity. Let's have a game plan. And it's okay to have game plans. It's okay to check in with yourself and your brand and redesign what you want the end game to be. Oh, amen. So they were never supposed to have a season two. So what did they do? They figure out a way to drag people to bring people into their fake reality show. Old storyline, same old, same old. Anytime they talk about Tr Tristan and his situation, I cringe. I cringe. I cringe. Let's see what the next one is. It's going to be them them talking. Uh, we're like, uh, cricket. Kim knows she needs Courtney. Things are not always how they seem. How are things are not how they seem when you guys are in media every week? We see it all. We've heard it all. 
you guys create drama and conflict for us to see it. <laughs> responsibility to make sure that I keep my family together. So what is going on with you and your dating life? I just need new vibes. I need people to know that I'm... Keep her family together? How, how has she helped Kim in regards to her career? Keep her family together. Kim and Chloe want the bag. And so does Chris. Allegedly, Chris Jenner has a documentary coming out. And they said Kim was going to do any and everything to become famous and stay famous. They're getting dragged. It's an end of an era. They're not respected. Royalty where? They're not um, USA, America's first family. They're not. You got Kylie wearing a noose necklace. You got Kylie and brown face, you got uh, Chloe talking about the K and the K. You got Kim wearing Balenciaga. First family wear. Royalty wear. And people are not hip to what they're doing. Real talk? They're not for the right thing. And people don't talk about that. TMZ is not going to show what we show. Bloggers, YouTubers. Let's continue. She's concerned about the family. Kendall said, we don't really see what's really going on. We see what's going on every week. <laughs> and we're concerned about them kids. That I keep my family together. So what is going on with you and your dating life? I just need new vibes. I need people to know that I'm single. I'm the worst single person ever. <laughs> These are our years. So they need new vibes. They need new guys to talk about. New storylines. New people that should sign the NDA and say, I'm not going on your show and you can't talk about me. I feel like myself again. I feel amazing. So guys, I'm having a baby. Tristan and I were in really sensitive times. I don't think you deserve Chloe. Tristan has been such a hands-on dad. Mom is too nice sometimes. She is. You look so cute today. For your daughters, you should be, like, fierce for us. You're lying right now. Lying about what? That I've never heard. You're spiraling. I don't deal with people that don't tell the truth. So she's trying to crack the whip on Chloe, and Chloe's waking up. Because, see, Chloe's not Kim. Kim and Chris will do just about anything for a storyline, a clicking of you. See, Courtney, Courtney not going, Chloe's not going to play that. She'll do stuff though, but the mom wants her to crack the whip and make money for her with her. You can see it. They've, they've been in more ads. They've been in a butter ad. They've been in a Christmas ad. Chris is trying to sit down with the grandchild that should be sitting down with the parents. So Chloe, they continue to want Chloe to have the storyline with Tristan. Nobody's trying to hear about Tristan. If he's not trying to be in every child's life, being there for Theo, Tristan's doing everything he can to make Chloe happy. And Chloe needs to make sure he needs to be a great father to everybody, not just your child and your children and, and the nieces and nephews. He should help with his own child. Real women, strong women, make sure the man is a good man to everybody. Everybody. And I think Tristan just recently got a job with the... Uh, Cavaliers, I think, but let's continue. Let's continue. Tristan has been such a hands-on dad. Mom is too nice sometimes. She is. You look so cute today. For your daughters, you should be, like, fierce for us. You're lying right now. Lying about what? That I've never heard. You're spiraling. I don't deal with people that don't tell the truth. Hi, guys. It's been a lot of tension. It's really hard to watch people talking about you. I don't feel understood. Are you happy? You're a different person. You hate us. We all talk about You're it. like adding it into a fight to like have a side. Court and Kim are still going out at stop. I think like you think things, so you're getting riled up. I think things, so I'm getting riled up. You're just a witch. And I hate you. And that's strong for a sister to say. But she knew it. She continues to want to push Courtney to the edge. To the point of almost no return. Courtney needs to get her own show with her and Travis. Don't show this because this is the biggest thing. Courtney protects her kids from the media, from that show. 
So it's like, okay, Courtney, if you're not going to show your kids, you better be on the set. You better be on the scene. You better talk to the, sh you know, talk to us. Uh, she must be under contract. You know what I'm saying? It's just weird. I don't deal getting riled up. It is what it is. I just think that the show is boring. It's the same old, same old storyline. Hulu should be ashamed of themselves. Utilizing North as a storyline. Trying to shade Chloe as a storyline. They don't care about Chloe's feelings. It's very clear. Once Chloe gets and wakes up, she's next. They're dragging Courtney. Chloe's next. And that's the weird part. And then they're going to try and probably do a little bit in regards to Kendall Kylie. Because, of course, uh, Caitlyn Jenner's talking about Kim. So somehow, some way, Kim's going to start attacking Kendall and Kylie because Chris, uh, Caitlyn's talking about Kim. Well wishes. I'm hip to it. This is the biggest thing, and I'll keep saying it. Be for the right thing. I don't think the K's and the J's is for the right thing. I think they love drama conflict. And I think that, in my opinion, Kim is going to continue to ruffle everybody's feathers until she finds somebody. And then she's going to want everybody to be, ooh and ah, he loves me, he respects me, he's taking me out to dinner. She's going to want everybody to be like, ooh and ah, when she has a relationship. But she don't want Courtney to have that. She don't want Courtney to have peace. She is bitter and she is jealous. Allegedly, that's what the comments are saying. Well wishes. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be watching the show or I'll watch the clips, but it's the same old, same old. Chloe needs to leave Tristan alone. Kim needs to leave Kanye alone. Let him have his new life, new wife. She doesn't have nothing to do with Kanye now, but she continues to talk about him. Have a great day, everyone. Be safe, be kind, be loving, and be respectful.